my send out, my cue always is this. Are you ready? Are you ready? So I'm putting the dumbbell back after my wall. I put the dumbbell back. Are you ready? Are you ready? Mark. Right when I see them looking, I send them from a mark. Fought out, I let them stare. I don't do it from a foos for a long time. Then I start doing it from a foos. Then I hang the ball up before I even get them out. I like it hanged in the beginning, on the, later on on the ground. The reason I hang it in 2001 Nationals, I think it was, in Wisconsin, it was a fall day in November at the football stadium and there were leaves all on the field. You could see dogs who picked up the send out off the ground. They were looking for every leaf. So I'm like, okay, I don't ever want the toy on the ground in the beginning, later on I do. Um, and I don't want my dog looking at me on the dumbbell. I, there are some handlers that wanted their dogs looking at them. The dog couldn't even find the freaking dumbbell yeah. in the leaves. So I want my dog to watch it land. There's the dumbbell. Bring. So then I hang the ball down there and I do my obedience. And uh, I say, are you ready? Ready? And I say, mark very close because now they didn't see me put it down. Now for the very first time, it's magically down there. Then I do 500 of those. I'm real close, like 10 feet away. Are you ready, ready, Mark? And they're like, hey, how'd that get down there? Foot house, and I sent him from a mark. Then pretty soon, of course, we're doing full field sit downs. Now it's my very first time to plots my dog. I've been doing my in-drive plots separately. So if you can picture my kennel runs are here, my garage is there, I feed in the garage. I say, okay, if I'm not ham feeding. There, I have the e-collar on them. And they're running 20 times to the garage to get fed. And the e-collar's on them. I let him eat. Then day 21, okay, they're running. Plats, tick, tick. So I hit them in, in drive, different context, in drive though. So I, now I have an in drive. Because you can have a low drive plots, a kitchen plots, like your dog's living in the kitchen plots. Uh, a medium drive plots, you call your dog and halfway to plots, I wouldn't do that a lot. You throw the ball, halfway to the ball, plots. You throw the ball, the ball continues to roll and then you say plots so the prey still moving higher drive. So I want my high drive plots as an order. Now I've done 100 send outs. They've never heard plots. The e is always on my dog. My dog Arno, I think, was shut some three, 24 times. And people said, ooh, you like to trial a lot? And I'm like, that's the minimum. No, I didn't trial a lot at all. I would hit my club trial for my 270. I would hit regionals, I'd hit nationals and maybe AWDF. In six years, you're getting 24 and you're not like, how many can I do? I mean, that's minimum. Guess how many times you didn't have the e collar on? 27 times. BH, one, two, all those threes. It's on every single time. I'm not aware my shoes are on. So people say, like my two young shepherds, uh, they have not had the e collar on two times now in their life. One was their BH and now they just got their shoes on once. And it will be on all the way till they're two, which is hopefully in uh, three weeks. No, uh, four weeks. So now it's my first time to plots my dog on the send out. I have the e-collar in my hand. Now the ball's not down there. There is no ball. Full field. Are you ready, ready, Mark? And they're like, all right, we're doing a send out. They've never heard plots in this context. Only in high drive going to the garage or whatever. I say, fought house. And when they get to the spot, I say plots, and I expect them not to plots. I do not hit them on the E. I do not. I let them search. I hope they disobey. I'm like, please disobey and don't plots. I let them search. And then about five seconds later, I say plots, tick, and I hit them a pretty good medium tick. I hit them the second time. I come up, I pay them. People say, why don't you hit them the first time? I said, I want them to trust me. It's not down there. I let them look for a second. It's not down there. Then it's a trust exercise. Then my dogs learn, if I say plots, it's never down there. If I don't say plots, it's always down there. So there's no reason to keep looking after the plots behind you. Like, maybe the ball's there. No. If I say plots, I have it magically. If you don't hear plots, keep going. It's there. That's the trust exercise. But it's very important for me on those first three times that I do not hit them on the E on the first command. I let them look. And if they obey real well, I'm like, dang.